Hello, hello, hello. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give, uh, it's the top of the hour. I'm going to give people a, a couple more, a minute or two as we get started here to filter into the room. I think you guys can all see me here. I'm going to share my screen in a minute. You can, you know, you can see my backdrop, which probably looks a lot like many of your guys' backdrops. I'm, I'm working from home. Now, I generally work from home anyway, so I'm very comfortable in my home environment here. Um, but, you know, got my kids here, so we're playing basketball in the background now, and we weren't necessarily doing that inside. I want to have you guys check in for me. Before I get started here, so my name is Bob Stewart. I want everybody to find the, the chat for me. And, you know, I'm also in a hat because I haven't had my hair cut in six weeks. We're here in Washington State, so we've been kind of locked down and, and businesses have been closed for, for a long time. Uh, check in for me, you guys. and. I want to get a sense because when sometimes when we market these webinars, we, we, they get marketed to people that maybe aren't the actual audience that, that we're interested in here. So here, here's what I'm doing today, okay? I'm going to show you guys basically the Brevity platform. I'm going to have a little bit of an emphasis on some of the new virtual tools that we've released recently. If you're a Brevity client, here's what, if you're already a Brevity client, what I would tell you is, um, you might walk away if you stay the whole time and think, uh, I feel like that was kind of a sales pitch. <laughs> it's going to kind of be that. I, I'm, the intended audience was people that aren't Brivity users. Now, that being said, um, I'm going to walk through all the tools we have or many of the tools that we have. And so if you're a newer Brivity user and you're like, I, I got this thing, but I'm just not sure everything it has, this would be a decent class for that, right? I'm going to hit at a high level a lot of the things that we have. And, and I'll talk about some practical applications of some of these tools as well. Um, if you're not a Brivity client, this is the perfect place for you. We're going to discuss kind of the tools that Brivity has for you guys to, to use in today's world, right? And, and again, in the beginning or the front side of this webinar, I'll really focus on some of those new things that we've put out for people. Um, awesome. So Amanda's a new, a new user. Just check in for me, you guys. I want to get a sense, like, are you a current Brivity client? Are you somebody that, that was thinking about Brivity? And so you wanted to kind of get your eyes on some of the stuff we're doing. Pierre, high five, buddy. I know you. Um, okay, so thinking about it, current and fairly new, not a client, current. Okay, so if you're new, this will... Um, this will be a, a decent use of your time, okay? Um, you, you may decide to cut out after we get through some of the new virtual package and some of that new stuff. So awesome, Michelle. So yeah, we've got a bunch of current people in here saying, you know, I, I learn something new every time. There's a lot to brevity, okay? So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to share my screen with you guys. And by the way, um, if you're a current brevity client and you, and you stay through till the end, I've got three... Um, auto plans that I'm going to share with you guys. And, and I've shared these in some different places, but I'm going to share the, the brand new Brevity or the brand new Ben Kinney 10 Days of Pain, our website conversion plan. I'm going to share the Quickly plan that we use um, to generate or to convert leads from our, our Quickly signs, our text leads. I'm going to share a, our new seller plan. And Jolene, who runs Ben's um, expansion organization and was his, his first hire, Jalene and I just finished our new seller lead conversion plan, and I'm going to share that today. I think it's the first time I've ever shared that. So if you're a current Brivity client, I'm going to give you the links where you can go and pull those plans right into your account. So you've got three pretty awesome plans that we've put together. If, if you're not a Brivity client and you, and you stay through with us, at the end, what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you um, access to go and copy Ben Kinney's listing presentation. Normally, we reserve this for people that, that actually sign up with Brivity. And one of the reasons we do that is because some, some of the stuff in that listing presentation is based on, you know, them using Brivity, right? There are slides in there that we showcase to a, a consumer when we're sitting at their kitchen table that, that showcase some of the elements of Brivity that set our teams apart and, and are, you know, something good for that seller to know that we do, right? 
but we're still going to give it to you guys. It's an editable document that you can go in and slap your own logo on and, and, and maybe you just pull a couple of elements out of that thing that you think, you know, I don't end up buying the Brevity platform, but man, these are some really good ways that they talk during the listing presentation. And then the other thing we'll do for you guys that aren't Brevity clients, we'll give you that listing presentation. Look, our Brevity clients can get that at any point inside the CRM by doing a search for Ben Kinney listing presentation. But, and then I'll give you access or I'll give you a link to, to watch Ben actually deliver his listing presentation, right? A listing presentation that, you know, our teams used last year to take, I don't know what it was, 900 and some odd listings or um, it was a bunch, okay? Yeah, Jill, the, if you're a current Brevity user, you, you can absolutely, you can stay here and I'll, I'll give you the link to it. Or at any time you can go into the Brevity CRM and, and go to search and, and, um, and find that listing presentation. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire up my slides here, okay? If you guys have questions, I'll probably come back. I'll keep my eyes on them. I kind of, kind of, dart my eyes over to the other screen there and, and uh, you know, I'll try to answer questions as we're going along here, but I'll definitely spend a, a minute or two at the end answering questions. So again, my name is Bob Stewart. Um, I've been in the real estate industry for 20 years, doing all sorts of different things, having worked inside of companies like Zillow and Trulia and, and Market Leader. And, and I've been working with Ben Kinney and Brivity for the last five years I'm excited to have you here today to kind of showcase for those of you that are already our clients, some of the tools that you may have forgotten about or, or just kind of talk about them from a different angle, give you a, a new perspective on them. Maybe if you're not a Brevity client, I'm excited to have you here to, to showcase kind of what we have built um, over the last, I don't know, five years, maybe. I mean, Brevity has been a thing for maybe eight years, but our platform has really been a concept that we've been developing for about five years. And this guy on the screen right here is a good friend of mine and, and my, my partner in business. His name's Ben Kinney. And Ben, when the Real Trends 2020 list comes out, which Real Trends compiles every year, um, you know, the top agents and teams and brokerages from around the nation, Ben's team is probably going to be the number one team. We did just north of 3,000 transactions on our in our expansion organization on the Ben Kinney team in 2019, it's going to make us number one, two, or three. Now that's 30 different locations that we have around the country, all of which are powered by the Brevity platform. And so when we go out and we build our technology, we are building it on behalf of not just the real estate agents that use it, but our own teams, right? This this platform that I'm about to show you guys, or for some of you guys kind of reintroduce you to or show you different aspects of it, um, is something that we run our business on. We're not like investors who, who are, or a title company that, that owns a website so that we can get more business from agents. Like we're actually deploying this thing in our business every day. And I think one of the cool things about that is we're, we're using this thing, which means we're adapting it and adjusting and making tweaks based on the needs of our, of our users. And so when something like, you know, the coronavirus or COVID pops up like it has recently, and all of a sudden we've got teams in Washington State and California who were some of the early shelter in place, and we had to pivot how we're doing business. At, at Brivity, we had to go help our agents pivot and how they're doing business. And I'm going to show you guys a couple of those tools that we developed and built basically over the course of a week so that our agents could continue to, to host virtual open houses, could continue to market properties um, around like virtual showings and things like that, could have just a, a page on their website that talked about the safety aspects of, of buying and selling a home. So our, our founder, Ben, is in real estate and we have teams in 30 locations across the country using this product, right? It's not just a product that we conceptualize in a lab because we're a bunch of, you know, people that thinks we know how real estate agents should do business. That's, that's not what you have here. Now we don't have contracts. Okay. If, if you decide to become our client or you are our client today, we have to win your business every day. Uh, we don't do contracts. And then um, it's your data. That's not, I think everybody, that's kind of a thing, right? We, we use the data that we collect on your behalf to, to benefit you. This is, so as I, as I'm going to come into Brivity here in a second. We built Brivity kind of to, to cater to 
the Ben Kinney lead generation model, the way that our teams help consumers buy and sell real estate. And what you see here is it's a pie. We do everything in the shape of a pie or, or a slice of pizza, right? So um, on the left-hand side, what you have is, is the agent's job. We believe when an agent joins one of our teams or, or you're an agent, you have a job. And, and the stuff on the left-hand side are, are things agents could, could conceivably go out and do with little to no investment, right? We can work our sphere and our past clients. Um, we can go out and do open houses. Sometimes we, before we even have our first listing, we could be doing open houses at, you know, listings of other agents in our office, for example. Or we do prospecting calls. Our teams make 150 dials every day, Monday through Friday. And basically the stuff on the left-hand side, when you join our team, you say, this is your job as an agent. Like you show up to work each day doing these things on the left-hand side. And then eventually, and in our world, that means you, you pen two deals two months in a row, right? That kind of proves you're, you can do this. And we, we have systems for, for these things on the left, right? Then you earn your way into our business. Things like the leads that we generate on the internet. Sometimes we pay for those. Sometimes we just go out and, and do the heavy lifting of marketing ourselves on Craigslist or Facebook or some of these places where we can drive our own traffic, right? We've got listing leads. So our team has listings. Somebody joins our team. They get to participate in the leads that come from those listings. Once they've proven, they can do their job, the things on the left-hand side. And then we've got some other things. We do events. Uh, we do radio and television advertising. Um, today, we're doing a lot of things like virtual open houses, right, which I guess would fall in the open house bucket, but it is kind of another thing that we're doing that, you know, we haven't traditionally done, right, until we were forced, our hand was forced on that. So we built Brivity to support this type of a business, okay? Now, look, most people, I've talked to, to thousands of teams in my career, thousands of agents, there's very few things that fall outside of those main five. Now, when you put a, a bucket like other in there, we've covered everything, <laughs> right? But those five, I mean, are the primary sources of business. This covers a well north of 80% of all of the transactions that happen in real estate come from one of these five sources. So we built tools for these sources. Now, here's kind of a map of what Brivity looks like. And if you're a current Brivity client, you've seen this map before, okay? But what happens in your business is we, we want to try to attract people to our business. And, and that those people are, we call it traffic. And that could be somebody, you know, traditionally the word traffic conjures up images of like somebody being on my website. Well, for many of us, it, it might've conjured up images of like sitting in it um, on the I-5 in, in Seattle, right? Not going anywhere, which is not the case today, by the way. Um, but, but traffic, but it's not just website traffic. It's that person that comes into your open house. It's the, the lady that walks out to her mailbox and grabs your just listed postcard. It's the, the, the consumer that, that answers your, the door when you're out knocking the, the neighborhood to invite people to your open house. Like there's all these different ways that you can get in front of people. And if you put the right content and messaging in front of that person, you can potentially kind of capture them into your world, right? Heck, that could be, you know, you're wearing your realtor name tag in, in the, the uh, line at the grocery store and somebody says, hey, how's the market? You're a real estate agent, right? And now I'm like, hey, where do you live? Like I can, I can send you a report of your market, right? And I'd write their name down on a, on a piece of paper. Like that would be a capture. Now our agents would pull out their app and, and, and fire that person's name into the app. But I, I capture that traffic based on putting a content, some content or messaging in front of them, I capture them using a tool. And we'll go through these tools, right? And that feeds them into a CRM, kind of the, the, the center of my, my real estate business, right? That's why it's in the center of the page. The CRM, my database, holds all those inquiries that have been made into my business over the year, all the information about my sphere and my past clients. And once they're in there, I have the opportunity to nurture those potential buyers, potential sellers. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just homeowners, right? People in my sphere of past clients that aren't really thinking about moving right now, but I continue to nurture them because one day they might. So we've got tools for you to nurture them if they're a buyer, things like listing alerts, nurture them if they're a seller or, or just live somewhere, right? Market reports is what we call that. 
right? We've got plans, auto plans, the ability to, to apply a plan that has emails, texts, tasks. Eventually, those people in our database become a transaction, right? A buyer who's out making offers on properties, a seller who, who decides to list their home and put it on the market. And we have to manage that process so that at the end of the day, those people walk away with a home and then they're a raving fan of ours. They say to their friends, man, working with the Ben Kinney team was amazing. They kept us updated all along the way. And ultimately, like on the right-hand side, high five, we get a paycheck. That's what we're all after in this business, I think, for different reasons, right? But then, but then that, the byproduct of that paycheck is we have profits that we could potentially invest back in the business. That's that line down at the bottom leading back to, okay, more traffic so we can start this process again, right? Or, and, not or, and they become a past client which means that they come back into the CRM. We probably set them up on market reports so they can see everything happening around their house. And maybe we apply a plan to them to check in with them once a quarter, send a, a, a text message automatically on the anniversary of their, their closing, whatever it is. Okay, so this is, this is kind of your world. You live in this world all day long and you're constantly in some different stage or a, a consumer is constantly in some different stage of your world. Let's get in and talk about the specifics inside of this world then. So the first, you know, the CRM, I kind of consider that the, the heart of, of, the, of your world, right? But the, that thing that's out there facing the world, maybe your face, is your website. So Brevity offers fully customizable websites for you guys. If you're a current Brevity client, right? You, you've maybe dug into this a little bit, but for you guys to be able to to, to do whatever you want with, okay? And what the thing that we want to impress upon people is your brand has to, has to rep, or your website has to represent you and your brand so that when somebody finds you online, it's the experience you want them to have. And we get people all the time that go, I don't really need a website. I do all my business by referral. And, and my response to that is that's awesome. That's a really great position for you to be in getting all of your business by referral. But you know, let's say you did 30 transactions last year, all by referral. How do you know that you weren't referred to 50 people and 20 of those people that went out online and, and Googled your name and did a little bit of research on you and they landed on that website that you haven't really maintained at all. And it's from 1999 and they went, yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll go with this other referral I got, right? So the idea that I got 30 referrals when maybe I could have gotten 50, I have to represent myself online very well. And my website is kind of the thing that does that, right? And then somebody Googles me like, what happens? What do they see? What is that experience like? And does it match my brand? And does it match what I want them to see of me? And so th this is an example of Chris Suarez. He's one of the top agents in the nation. This is the the website that, that we've built for Chris. Um, the, the top there is, who is that? I'm not sure whose website that is, but clearly they're in Colorado. That's wide open spaces and we can see their logo incorporates the Colorado state flag on it. Down below there, we've got Denny Grimes who sells down on one of the coasts in Florida, right? These, these sites, just, just landing on them and seeing them visually, you start to understand like what the brand of these people is about. Now this is, Travis, Travis Bard, he's in Prescott, Arizona. Um, I don't know if you guys, I've visited Prescott, Arizona, and this is kind of what you see when you go to Prescott, Arizona. And if you ever met Travis, this guy, he doesn't always have his cowboy hat on, but, but mostly. Um, he doesn't always have his big belt buckle on, but mostly. And so like landing on his website is absolutely a representation of his, his brand. And we want you guys to be able to, to have a web experience that, that matches your brand so that when consumers go research you or find you on the internet, they think, wow, okay, that's somebody that I wanna, I wanna work with. This site right here, and it's kind of a, I don't know, it's a scrolling GIF, I guess, on this page, and it'll, get yeah, there we go. So it resets and it goes through. So this is Ryan Young, he's in Cleveland, Ohio. He's very proud of his Barbara Corcoran endorsement, so we've got that on the homepage. But he came to us and said, hey, there's all these companies coming into, our, into my market. You can see it's going to click instant offer right there. Get an instant offer. There's all these companies coming into my market, Ryan said, 
and they're off, they're, they're doing these instant offers, right? Open door and Zillow's doing it, and Redfin, whoever they're, they're offering consumers an instant offer on their house. And I want to do that, right? There, there's kind of third party companies that had an agent. If you had somebody that wanted an instant offer, you could go to that, you know, open door and they'd give you an offer to give to that consumer. And so Ryan said, I want to, I want to represent that on my website. I want my customers to know if they wanted an instant offer, they'd come right to Ryan Young and we can get them an instant offer. And so we, we sat out and said, sweet, Ryan, let's build some content into your website. Let's build a page that represents your instant offer strategy, right? So some agents have a guaranteed home sale program or, or you know, whatever that thing is that, that you do well, maybe it's a community that you represent and you want to go out and build some community pages. Our website editor is what we call drag and drop. It allows you to go in, find blocks, and we've got hundreds of different styles of blocks, right? And just drag them into position on pages. Maybe you want a video, super easy to drag in a block with the video, then go grab your video from YouTube or Vimeo or wherever and, and get it loaded onto that page. As long as you can drag and drop, you can build a ridiculously beautiful website for yourself. And that could be, maybe I'm, maybe I'm trying to land that next, that builder, right? That, that builder that just kind of moved into our area. I'm trying to land him as my client. I want to go out and build a page on my website to showcase his, you know, his new subdivision can be easily done through our website editor. And, you know, every day, Brevity agents are in tweaking and and updating and, and building new community pages and, and focusing on a new builder. Um, you know, introducing things like their Barbara Corcoran video, whatever you want your, however you want your brand to be represented, we can, we can absolutely do it on a Brevity website. Here's another um, kind of site example. And you can see some of the, you know, things like featured listings and, um, you know, different elements like why work with us or you know, this happens to be for an agent in Olympia, Washington. So the video that kind of loads up when you first hit the site is this kind of iconic shot of the Olympia brewery in Olympia, Washington. All right, let's move past that. So this is some of the stuff that we did recently um, within the last, what, three or four weeks, right? So in Washington and California, our agents kind of went to lockdown, right? And there was, there was a week or two in both of those states where we weren't even considered essential, essential workers. Washington, I believe California have both now gone to that. And we've got all sorts of restrictions in Washington around what happens during a home showing and only two people can go into the house. One of them has to be the agent and the hand sanitizer and, and, you know, the whole nine yards. Right. But one of the things that we wanted to, to empower our Brevity clients to be able to do is go out, you know, to the market, which by the way, is still, still there. Okay. I don't know where, unless I mean, there are a couple of States, I think where they've totally locked everything down and even real estate agents can't show homes anymore. But I, I know that even in some of those States contracts are being written on virtual showings where the seller is out walking, you know, prospective buyers on a FaceTime through their home. But we had to pivot. We had to pivot fast, right? Because when somebody comes to our website a month ago, they go request a showing on a property. We, we can call them up and set that showing up and have them out at the house you know, tomorrow. Today, they might not even want to do an in-person showing. So we've got to allow them to make virtual showing requests. So we've, we've created or built into to every listing on, on a Brevity website, this idea that they could request an in-person tour, or they can request a virtual showing. We had somebody yesterday on one of our Ben Kinney sites request an in-person tour. I'm sorry, request a virtual tour. And then in the question box, when, when you know, there's kind of a form they fill out, they said, um, hey, I don't even know if we're allowed to go see houses right now, but we'd love to see this house either in person or virtually, we don't care. I just didn't know if we can even go in person. Now we can in Washington, right? But that call to action on the page saying, hey, we can do a virtual showing, even though right now we can't do an in-person one. Well, so we, we've taken that virtual showing and we've, we've placed it all throughout the website. Of course, on every single listing on the site, people can make these virtual requests now. The other thing we've done, and we've always had this concept of, it's called forward slash share. So I can pull up a listing on my website and I can just add forward slash share to the end of the URL of that. List. What it does is it allows me to create 
a force registration landing page for that listing. Okay, so I, I might market that listing on, on Craigslist and be like, hey, we've got a new listing, go check it out here. And they can go to that link and um, it, it kind of, it gates the page, right? They can see that listing in the background kind of grayed out and it asks them for a, a couple of pieces of information before they get a chance to see the listing. Well, we wanted to make sure that you guys could have these kind of virtual showing gated pages, right? So you could be going out to the market, to, to your Facebook page, to um, running, running ads on Google, whatever it is, and saying, look, um, we, can, we got a new listing, and even though we can't, you know, we can't have an open house today, or, or, or you can't walk in and see it, even in some states, right? Um, we're, we're offering virtual showing. Sign up here to get your virtual showing. This next one has been mass, it's been exploding in, in usage from our people here recently. And, and this is the idea of these virtual open house registration pages. So I see a lot of agents who are doing virtual open houses on Facebook with FaceTime. They're just firing up Facebook. They're saying, hey, we're here at this open house today. You know, we're, we're going to walk through it. The, the, the kind of tricky part about that, let's say you got, you had 25 people that watched your virtual open house on Facebook, which is awesome, right? That's, it might be 20 more than would have come through that house if you were just sitting out there and five families came through. The, the challenge and the problem with that is I don't know necessarily, or I can't capture the information of those 25 people, right? What if I ran a boosted post on my, my virtual open and, and there's people that aren't like friends of mine on Facebook that are joining that thing at the end of the day, I can't capture their information. So what we did is we created these kind of virtual open house registration pages. And, and what it allows you to do is take a listing on your website. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold open one, two, three main street this weekend. Now I want to get as many people to be there on Saturday at one o'clock when I'm going to actually walk through that house, or maybe I'm going to have and my, my mom's a real estate agent. She's had, her, she's done one of these where her seller was the one that actually walked through the house the day of the, of the open house and did the tour and Gail was at home. And, and you know, the, the 12 people that had registered on her virtual open house marketing that she'd done in advance were there at their homes watching the seller walk through this open house and then they could ask him questions. But what she did is she pulled that listing up on her website and then she said forward slash open house. And there's an option to do a virtual open house registration. And when you do that virtual open house registration, what, that's a great question, Anna. I'll tackle that in just a second. When you do that virtual open house registration, what you are, are doing is you're basically setting up for them once they give, so you say, I, yeah, I want to attend your virtual open house at, on Saturday at noon right? They fill out their information. What you do then is you deliver to them on the page and then, and then via email, the instructions of how they'll join you for that open house on Saturday. So here's how my, my mom does it, you guys. Or here's how my mom, and look, a lot of our teams do it this way. I just, I'm intimately familiar with my mom's story. And she's an agent in Olympia, Washington, runs the Ben Kinney expansion team there. So she uses Zoom. Okay, so she's got a Zoom webinar room just like we have here that we're in and really good on a phone. Okay, so she sets up a webinar registration for Zoom, right? Then she goes out to her virtual open house and she says, we're going to have an open house on Saturday at one o'clock. Get signed up for it here. When they sign up, they then get registered into Zoom. Okay, she sends back the, the information via to, about Zoom call right? And then at one o'clock they get a Zoom registration, they get a Zoom reminder an hour or the day before, right? They then show up to the Zoom call on Saturday at 12 and she's now hosting that Zoom webinar. Now she might be out at the location and she's hosting the Zoom webinar from the Zoom app on her phone and she's just like, all right guys, she's talking to them at one o'clock saying, hey, we're going to walk out. If you guys have questions, type them in there, right? She just flips that camera around and now she's walking through that house. But the people got there to begin with because of the marketing they'd done in the week leading up around this, these virtual open house pages. So, I mean, we are, you know, what's funny about this? Like our teams have been reporting that when market, right, you know, with that five or six day lead time, they're getting more people to come to these virtual open houses than they ever had coming in 
to their houses. The key element is capturing the information of the people that are, that are, I think it might just be you, Tim. Does anybody have their screen flashing? I haven't seen anybody else say that, Tim. I don't know. Maybe close it down and, and hop back in. Chip says no. Karen says no, guys. Someone just buy a website. Oh, um, you could buy our website CRM. Yes, it's one of it's our first kind of intro package. Absolutely. Um, Anna says, "Can this be a home that we have permission to do a virtual open house on that is not our listing?" Absolutely. Any listing on your website, which is every listing in the MLS, you could potentially do one of these on. Now, of course, you want it. You got to have permission, right? So, if it was another agent in your office and you were going to do a virtual open house on their listing, their vacant listing, maybe. Absolutely. If, if, if your website, so you just find that listing on your website, add forward slash open house, select a virtual open house. Yes. And you can do this for any, it's not just your own listings. Great question. All right. There's kind of what it looks like after they come through and register for our open house, right? We give them, but then, you know, we, we get them registered. So they get those reminders from zoom a day before and an hour before. All right, one of the, kind of wrap this safety portion up. One of the other things we did is we built these pages and maybe I'll show you guys, um, let, me, let me take us in here and show us. I'll go to BKT Washington safety page. So we built these pages on the back of all of your websites. If you're a current Brevity client, you have this page. If you're you know, about to become a Brevity client, you'll have this page. But it's this, um, it basically talks about the, the package we put together and then some of the things that our agents are having to ad adapt and, and do, right? Things like the virtual buying program or virtual selling program. Like what is the virtual buying program? That's just our buyer presentation that we can't do at Starbucks anymore with somebody face to face. So we invite them to a Zoom call to do our virtual uh, buyer presentation with them, right? What's our virtual selling program? That's a a seller consultation that we can't do at their kitchen table anymore. We're doing over a zoom. Right. And when we just talk about some of the things that look, we've always been do these things, you guys, any one of us could have done these things two months ago. Right. And some of us were, some of us had clients that, that buy home sight unseen from overseas as investors. And we've always operated in this, in this way. But the fact that we have people who are coming onto our website and saying things like, am I even allowed to go see a house? Like this is somebody that still needs to buy a house, right? We have sellers out there that, that still need to sell, right? They can't afford their mortgage anymore. They lost their job. They got to sell before they go into foreclosure. Like I, I, I totally understand why real estate has been called an essential service. Like housing is an essential service, right? But people are skittish. So we, we, we built these safety pages and look, you can go in and adjust the wording. We just stood them up for you. So you've got a template. Some people adjust the wording. They're out marketing these pages to let, you know, their database and their people know we are like real estate is still happening. If you, you're one of these people that maybe your lease is ending and everything in your world had been pointing towards you guys finding a new house come, come May 1st, like we can still help you do that. virtual showings, right? The virtual selling program, a, a virtual listing consultation, right? And again, this is just them saying, hey, I want one of these. And me, me have been savvy enough to say, okay, we're going to do this on the Zoom. I've got my Zoom account. Here's where you go at, at noon tomorrow for our, our listing consultation. Next, I'm going to do a webinar next Wednesday with uh, three agents who are out in the market doing these. The Matt Miali team, our, our Jacqueline, who runs our, our Ben Kinney Vancouver team, and uh, Chris, I'm going to butcher his last name, with the Mike Hicks team, who's still selling in Idaho, even though they're under, under you know, the same kind of orders that, that many of the rest of us are. Okay, so we, we built these safety pages. You're a current Riverty client. You have that at yourwebsite.com forward slash safety. Let's go back here. We'll go back into present mode. All right. Home search. The, the home search app is, we've got it on about, I don't know, about a hundred um, cl like actual client phones now. 
and, and we're getting really close to launching it for everybody. And the app will, will sync up with um, the activity on your website. It'll, it's really slick. We're really excited about it. Um, ben just wants, like, we're talking in, you know, really tenths of a second now and, and just trying to optimize some of the loading so that it's a really smooth experience for your clients. So it's getting really close. Um, there's a variety of other lead capture tools beyond the stuff on your website. Okay, so you've got the, you know, our, like our open house lead capture tool guys in regular times, right? And, and we'll get back to those hopefully someday soon. But when somebody, when we do open houses and we actually have people coming in physically to our open houses, Brevity has like open house lead counter registration forms, right? So we put them on an iPad. We use a little stand at the front door. Somebody walks in. I'll give you the script we use every single time somebody comes into our, one of our open houses is it's, you know, hey, I'm Gail with the Ben Kinney team. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming into our open house today. Listen, people normally come in for one of two reasons. Either they're a buyer trying to find that perfect property or they live in the area and they're curious what their own home is worth. Which one are you? Right? We want them to identify walking in the door. Like, are you a buyer? Or are you just a nosy neighbor who might be thinking about selling if these guys actually get 500,000 for their house? So that's our script. But then we say, listen, the seller asks, we have everybody who comes through the house today checking. You wouldn't mind filling a little bit of information on the iPad there. And they'll check in. Guess what happens when they do that? Right into the CRM, right? Listing alert could get set up for them immediately. Um, auto plan could kick off so that two hours later, a text message went out and said, hey, thanks so much for dropping by our open house. What did you guys think? And then seven minutes later, we send another text that says, we promised our seller that we would ask every single person that came through the open house today if they wanted to make an offer. And I can't remember if I, we'd asked you, do you want to make an offer on that house? Some of them might respond and go, wait, which house? We, we, we looked at 12 open houses today. Fine. We're just trying to engage them after they've come into our open house. The auto plan is designed to do that. We'll talk about auto plans in a minute. And I'm going to give you guys a bunch of auto plans. Quickly. I love quickly. Listen, right now, there's a bunch of agents who are having to go, and, right? They're doing video. And they're like walking through their house. And, and when, you, when you do a video on Facebook, and you're walking through the home, what are, your, what are your potential calls to action you can say in that video? You could tell them a website address to go to. Go to bktwashington.com forward slash MLS forward slash 123789, right? That might be the link to my listing. That's not that easy for somebody watching to remember or do. I could say, listen, if you, if you want to, you, want, you have questions about this property or you want to see all the photos and the, and the, tour, the virtual tour, to, give me a call. Call me at 408-638-1834, right? What we do is we use a text code. So we say, listen, if you'd like all the information about this property, all the photos, you want to see the virtual tour and you want to see the, uh, the homeowner docs so you can you know, know how big your dog can be if you move into this condo, right? Text. Savannah Condo to 59559. Okay, pull your phone out right now. Text, now don't do this, but text whatever, whatever your keyword is. And we can create these keywords for you so that you can send back to customers whatever you want. Now, the main use of Quickly is it becomes something we use as, as riders on our signs that replace our flyers. So we don't use flyers in our business anymore. I hope no, none of our current Brevity clients on the call are using flyers in their business anymore. We build um, riders and we actually build 18 by 24 stake in the ground riders, not a traditional rider that sits on the arm bar or sits underneath, which is what like um, 24 by, by six or something, right? We 18 by 24, they stake in the ground. And it basically says, you know, to see the photos and get the price text Ben Kinney to 59559. And then when they do that, we tap into GPS location on their phone and we give them a list of properties right around where they're standing out in front of our listing. And then we send their cell phone number to you, the agent, so you can follow up with them. And we're going to give you a quickly plan if you're a current Brevity client today that you can use to follow up with your quickly leads. Okay. One of our other lead capture tools, which is one of our favorites, we use it in a whole variety of ways is our seller lead capture sites, right? These landing pages that you have at, um, bktwashington.com slash home value. All of you guys 
if you're a current Brivity client, have you know yourdomain.com forward slash home value is a landing page where you can get, you know, you can drive people towards it for seller leads. We drive our own database, our own past clients in our sphere towards our home valuation pages a couple times a year. We'll send messages out to those people. Could be via text, could be email messages from inside the CRM saying, hey, you know, the market's been, been changing quite a bit here in Seattle. If you guys are curious what, what your home's worth today, like head over to our valuation tool and you can, get, you can get an estimate. And we can see people who are going and taking and doing those valuations. We couldn't, those are hand raisers in our business, right? They're people we should reach out to and figure out why are they raising their hand in that fashion. Maybe they're just thinking about refinancing and we can connect them to our lenders so that he keeps feeding us good deals back the other way. Maybe they're, they're thinking about selling and wondering if now is the right time. All of this inside of Brivity. So we, we also like, so all these tools, right? And we do classes and we've got videos on how you can take these tools and kind of put them out into the world and market them so you can generate your own leads, right? Listen, I can't go do open houses for you. You're going you're to have to use that open house capture tool to go do your own open houses, right? I can't get listings for you so that you can then put your quickly sign up in front of them. We can help you do that. One of the ways we can help you do that is through the two different lead kind of programs that we have or I would call them advertising programs that we offer. So we do leads. If you want to come to us and say, hey, I've got a budget. I'd like to drive seller leads for um, Kirkland and Bellevue, Washington. We can do that. Okay, you'll, you'll meet with Grant Gould or, or one of his team. And he's been doing this for 25 years in real estate. And he's amazing at it. So we can do leads. Again, again, you might do leads for a month and then go, uh, I don't want to, man, I got to get my systems in place a little bit better. I got to nail our 10 days of pain. I got to get my agents add and listing alerts. We're going to pause leads for a month. So leads. We also do these remarketing campaigns where we can actually like take your database or we can take website traffic, people that, that hit your website, but don't actually register or even if they do register, and we run remarketing campaigns to them. So what those are essentially is we, we follow that person around the internet. So let's say that it's your, it's your past client, right? And we follow them around the internet and we show up, you show up, right? Your branding, your marketing shows up to them on all the sites they would visit. I mean, not all of them, but most of them. Fox News, or maybe they're, 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 they lean to the left and it's, um, MSNBC or what, no, uh, what's, uh, yeah. Or it's CNN or it's Forbes magazine or it's the New York times or it's ESPN.com or they live in Bellingham and they always go read the Bellingham Herald or they live in Seattle. So they read the Seattle times. We can put your advertising on those websites following around and just displaying to the people in your database to reinforce your message. It's called remarketing. It's, it's awesome. Right now, we're, we're starting remarketing campaigns to our database around our safety features, letting them know, hey, we can, we can show them homes virtually. If they're thinking about listing, we could do the whole process of listing their home virtually without even having to have, you know, non-qualified people coming through their house. Now, no matter where your leads come from, right? They come from your own efforts with your Brivity tools. They come from our lead um, campaigns that you set up with us. They come from realtor.com because you, you pay a little bit of money there or from Zillow or no matter where they come from, we can route all those leads into one CRM, which means we can control how we respond as a team or, or you individually to all those different sources, right? You can have it all in one place. Your entire kind of conversion business your entire database in one spot. It's really important. And as those leads come in, no matter how we get them, sometimes it's a direct connection to a place like Zillow. Sometimes we use something called Zapier for some of the other kind of sites out there that you might be connected to. Realtor.com, we use email parsing, right? The leads can flow in. You can route them. So you can route leads based on source, so you might say, look, all my leads from Zillow that are seller leads over a million dollars, those go to me. All my buyer leads from Zillow under a million, those are going to get split between Jane and Joe. 
right? There's all sorts of ways I can slice and dice the routing of the leads, which obviously then get passed to the agent. They get notified. And then we could potentially have an auto plan kick in. And so right now you guys have been, been here with me for a while. What I'm going to do is in the chat, I'm going to share three auto plans that we um, have for if you're a current Brevity client, okay? These three auto plans that I'm going to put in the, uh, in the chat right now, there you go. You can see them. So there's a 2020 Ben Kinney team, 10 days of pain. That is a plan that we would set up. a. Tr so let me get to the next slide here. You guys can see those in there. I hope you guys are grabbing those. So this is your, your auto plans. And the, what you do with those auto plans once you pull them in is you then set up a trigger. And the trigger would say, okay, that first plan I gave you, the 10 days of pain, that's for website lead, buyer website leads. So I'd go in and I'd say, set up a trigger that says, every time I get a lead with a source of Brevity IDX, with an intent of buyer, I'm gonna fire the Ben Kinney team, a 10 days of pain plan. It's that easy. Next time somebody registers on your website, that plan would kick off. I think that plan, the first text goes out four or five minutes after they register and it says, hey, thanks so much for, for uh, registering on our website. People normally register for a couple of reasons. They're thinking about buying, they're curious what their own home is worth, or they're thinking about investing in real estate. Which one are you? If they don't answer, um, seven minutes later, a text message goes out that says, if you were thinking about buying, which area did you, you know, were you most interested in? And then an hour later, another one goes out, hey, you did register on our website. I hope I don't have the wrong phone number. And then the next day, it's, it's a whole series of emails, texts, and tasks for your agents to call that gets applied automatically. So even if your agents didn't call, over the course of 14 days, even though we call it the 10 days of pain, we stretched it out. You could have 20 awesome contact attempts into that customer over 14 days, a combination of texts and emails. You get those other four phone calls in, all of a sudden you're starting to, to approach leads in the manner it takes to actually convert them. The other one is a seller lead plan. So that'd be something we'd set up if we got a, a brevity valuation lead or a seller lead from our website. Right? And then quickly is a plan that we can use if somebody drove by our listing and texted Ben Kinney to 59559, right? The lead came in, that plan would fire off. Five minutes later, it'd say, hey, thanks so much for texting about our listing. People normally do that for one of two reasons. Either they live in the area and they're curious what their own home is worth, or they're thinking about buying. Which one are you? Seven minutes later, were you guys, were you guys interested in taking a tour of that property? I might even go in if it was me today and I was taking that plan in. I might edit that second text to say, were you guys interested in taking an, either an in-person or a virtual tour of the inside of that home? We can do either. So Barry says, the links aren't working. Here's the deal with those links. If you're not a Brivity client, they're not gonna work. You have to be logged into Brivity and you have to be logged into Brivity as either an admin or an account owner, Barry. So Barry, if you're not a client, they're not going to work, right? I mean, what this does is it literally takes that plan and it sucks it right into your Brivity account and it's there now for you to edit, adjust, or just apply. If you're, if you're on this call and you're not the admin or the account owner in your, in your Brivity, just save those links, copy them, and then go give them to your, your admin or your account owner and they'll be able to pull them into your guy's account. Okay, we've got a dialer inside of Brivity. So if you want to make a high volume of phone calls, because one of the things that you do is, is really good job of keeping in touch with your sphere and your past clients, right? Or you just love to get on the phone and hammer away at leads. We've got a dialer. You can, you can, you know, create dialer sessions where you can call up to 50 people in one dialer session, just that you staying on the phone and brevity, just calling through to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. You've got brevity on the go. So your CRM on the go, it's not the full set of functionality that you can do when you're sitting at your computer, but it's, it's all, the, it's all the, 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 the necessaries, right? You can respond to text messages in there. You can, you can make phone calls in there. You can log notes on clients in there. You can see history of things that have happened in there, right? The stuff you need when you're out on the go and you, you, you get a phone call from a client, you're like, oh, I, wanna, I wanna log, I wanna remember this, right? I, I'm gonna forget the information, so I hop into my Go app and I, I leave a note in that, in that lead. 
listing alerts this is how we this is how we nurture buyers right and this has been something that that you know any any website or crm package worth its salt has had since probably 2003 we do something a little bit different that i'm totally shocked to this day nobody else has r and d from us right ripped off and duplicated Every time we send a listing alert out to somebody, what are the national home ownership stats? 60% of people own a home in the United States, right? Which means on average, 60% of the leads that we're sending listings to saying, hey, here's new listings that hit the market today. 60% of those people own the house they live in right now. And a high percentage of those people are going to sell that house before they buy the next house. So something that as an industry we've never done is in those listing alerts, asked people, do you have a house that you want to sell? So we have these little calls to action that we wrap inside of the listing alerts. So when they go out to those buyer prospects that you have in your world, we can get them to raise their hand and say, actually, I, I, I've got to sell my house before I buy this next one. What's my house worth right now? So listing alerts, right? This right here in the last probably, I, I may, maybe ever, well, I've been building real estate software and, and in this industry for 20 years. These, the market reports coming out of Brivity get the highest open rates of anything I've ever done in my career. Uh, even back in the, early, in, the, in the early 2000s when like the idea of like emailing listings to people was kind of a foreign concept and then to have it automatically happen every morning with the new listings, that was like mind blowing. We never got the open rates on those emails that we get on our market report emails that we send out. And look, one of the reasons the open rates are so high is because these are going out to our past clients and our sphere, but they're also going to seller people. We're sending market reports to buyers who also have listing alerts set up so they can see what's active in the area they're looking, what's pending, which means, ah, oh, dang, they missed out on that one, right? Or what's sold already, sold in the last 30 days. Now for a seller, I want you guys to think, if you're not sending market data to your past clients in your sphere, you run the risk that every single day, one of your clients might go on a real estate speed dating event. And here's what I mean by that. When my wife comes home from work and my wife doesn't work out of the house anymore because none of us are allowed to, so she works in our house right now. But if she came downstairs, I wouldn't be like, hey, honey, guess what? I got you a, um, a, a ticket. And it's going to be after the coronas are over, honey, but you're going to go and you're going to, you're going to do speed dating. It's going to be at the Seattle Center. There's going to be 50 guys. They're all going to be like much more handsome than me, tan. I'm pasty. You guys can see me on the screen here, right? They're going to have really big muscles, honey. I don't. Um, and fat wallets. They're going to sit in their chair like this, honey. They're going to be so rich. Like, go have a good time. I would never do that. That's insane. My wife might find somebody better than me, Right. If your client tomorrow drives home from, from work, and again, these are not normal times, but they're out on their walk with their dog, right? And they see that house that now has a sold sign on it. They've been walking past that house every day for the last month, and now it's got a sold sign. Most of them aren't even going to get home. If you guys can see me, I've got my phone, just like all you guys have it. Some of them are going to pull over on the sidewalk or stop walking the dog. They're just going to pull the phone out, and they've got to go somewhere to get that information about what that house sold for. If they can't go to your market report, yeah, if you wanted to sign up for market reports, you can text market reports to five. You just go to brevitycma.com. That's where you can sign up for the market report tool, brevitycma.com. That market report tool also has a CMA tool built into it. But let me finish that thought. If they can't go to your market report, pull it up and go, there's that house. Oh, it sold for, for 450, honey, like high five our house is worth more now. They're going to go somewhere. The fact Zillow exists is proof that our clients want this information and they might just go to Zillow and God forbid they, they, they click somewhere there and become a lead for somebody else, not you, right? They might go to Redfin and register there. They might just go to Google and Google it and all of a sudden they're in some other agent's database. That's you sending them on a real estate speed dating event. If they can't come to you to get that information, they're going to get it somewhere. Zillow exists as proof that our clients want this information. They wanted it from us 10, when did Zillow start? 2007. They wanted it from us 13 years ago. Now you better be giving it to them today, okay? I mean, my mom loves her market reports, you guys. That she gets, like once a month, she gets a come list me email response from one of her market reports. Stuff, they, and they say stuff like, Oh, Gail, thank you so much. Like you've been sending us this market report for the last year and a half. And, you know, we saw 
the the somebody across you know down the way they sold for six fifty. We don't know if we'll be able to get that much because they looked like they had some improvements in their kitchen. But we'd love if you'd come out and and let us know what you think our house would sell for. I mean, those are not uncommon responses from Mark reports. Sometimes on our past clients, and I know a lot of you guys haven't done a very good job following up with your past clients. So what we do is every single one of our past clients has a Mark report. They get it every two weeks, which means 26 times this year, we're going to touch our past clients with something that's actually relevant to them. Not a recipe. Although today, I'd, somebody please send us a recipe. Right? But not a, you know, not a sports calendar that they hang on their deal. It's a market report that shows them what's selling around their house, which is generally impacting the equity of their biggest asset. Okay, you can do CMAs too. It's based on the 555 method. You can have a beautifully designed CMA with a, a pretty darn good price by going and picking five actives, five pendings, and five solds, and we're, we're tied into your MLS, right? So we've got all the data from your MLS for you to go in there and build a really awesome looking CMA that, that we use in our listing presentations, right? We listed, uh, I don't know, on, on 3,000 transactions last year, I'm not sure how many of those were buyers and how many of those were sellers, but it had to have been 1,500 listings that we had last year, all using that CMA tool when we sat down in their kitchen. So here's, so I haven't even got to the transaction management side of this. So Ben's team in, in Washington state, there's a couple of teams that operate out of Washington. They did about, I don't know their numbers from 2019 and 2018, they did about 900 transactions in Washington state. That entire, that all 900 of those transactions were managed by one person with some VA support coming in and out of, of, of that transaction management aspect of our, of our business. One gal, she's amazing, super smart, highly organized, but she uses transaction auto plans to automate a ton of the communication and the different things, and, or even just to set tasks for them to, to remember to do things. Because here's the deal. When you have one listing and you go out and promise the seller, hey, we're going to do all this stuff to get your house sold. When you come back, you, you remember to do all the stuff you promised to them, right? Because you have one listing. When you get to about 10 listings, if you don't have a system in place to manage the promises you're making to your sellers, what ends up happening is something gets dropped on this guy and a different thing gets dropped on that lady. And all of a sudden there becomes this inconsistency in your business. And it's not because it's, it's because you, you get unorganized. You don't have enough time. You're building a big business. All of a sudden you went from five listings. To now you have 12. What, what a lot of people do is they hire more staff to deal with that. I hire another admin right? We actually built Brivity because Ben decided in the, the MREA model, the millionaire real estate agent model says that you, you hire your first admin. Then when you get busy enough, you hire your second admin. That's the second hire in the MREA model. Ben said, I'm going to build software instead. I think I can build something to manage my transactions. So I don't need that second admin. I can streamline some of this. So these smart transaction auto plans, they, they do all sorts of stuff. Stuff like you can send the listing agent an automatic text three days before the listing is going to expire, reminding them to go get the listing contract extension signed. You can send the home inspector, like it was just, you can automate really any communications that you're doing that are consistently done transaction after transaction can be automated using smart transaction auto plans. Let's say you do postcards. Um, we do those automatically for you. It's just kind of a one click, right? You might edit it a little bit, but you set up a template. We take a feed from the MLS. So we know every time you listen to property, we build a campaign for you. And you can just go in there and say, I want to send this campaign to 200 people. They're 59 cents a postcard, including the postcard and the postage. And uh, we, we don't just, let's say you, my listing was, you know, here, here in Bellingham right? We don't just send it to the nearest. Let's say you pick 200 postcards. It's not just 200 postcards right around that house. We pick the nearest 200 homes that match the profile of the home and the buyer, the seller in that home. Okay. So we're using, you know, big data, right? Um, artificial intelligence to go out and say, what are the houses that, that if we send a postcard to them about this, this listing we just sold, which houses would this resonate the most with? Which ones are most like our listing we just had, right? So if we just listed a condo, we're not going to send that, that postcard 
just because it happens to be one of the nearest 200 homes to a million dollar you know, waterfront property, right? Same thing, vice versa. You sell a million dollar waterfront property, we're gonna try to find the other kind of home similar to that. And it could be that you say, I wanna send 200 and we go, you know what? There are only 59 houses like yours. Like, we'll only send it to 59 and we'll charge you 59 cents for all 59 postcards we sent out, but not for the 200 you wanted to send because we can't even find 200 houses like that one. Brevity Marketer, it's, it's really cool. People are doing some really awesome stuff. This, my mom just sent a postcard yesterday on a house that she pended in 24 hours. Still here in Washington State, guys. We're locked down. She put a house on the market on like the Friday, last Friday. It pended Friday. So her postcard that she sent out, she went in and made some tweaks to it and said, you know, under contract in 24 hours. That's the message she's going to push out to the nearest 200 homes around the listing she just sold on Lake Taps. Brevity Designer. Oh, Brevity Designer. This is in beta. Anybody in here is a current Brevity client, you can get access to the beta. Just reach out to our support if you haven't already. What Brevity Designer does is it takes your, your, your simple kind of like your color scheme, some of the photos, your logo, um, and your message, right, on, a, on an ad campaign that I want to build. And it will literally create hundreds of variations of that ad for all the different places you might ever place that ad. So it can do all your you know, if you were going to run Google advertising or Facebook or your, your the header on your Facebook page or, or you wanted to do an Instagram post or like, you know, you wanted to get a postcard printed, like there's hundreds of different sizes, variations and designs from one set of assets, right? So we say the message is this, the byline is this, the call to action is this, I want to use this photo and this color scheme, go and it will just spin out it will relay out hundreds of designs based on those, those assets that you're working with. It's a really, really powerful tool and it has shaved off hours of, of kind of Canva work. I don't know if any of you guys are using Canva to go out and build kind of the cool things that you then share on social media or, or, or inside your emails or wherever, but Brevity Designer is pretty awesome. All right, I'm, I'm at the top of my hour here. Oh yeah, by the way, when you're working a transaction, we let your clients know everything you're doing. Every time you check off a task, you can decide, do I want to show that to the client or not? So on a daily basis, they get an update of all the things that you guys have done during the day to get their house sold. Um, we offer VAs, they're trained in Brivity. You get a, a really smoking price. If you decide to, in, um, like, to get a Brivity VA, you don't have to, right? Some of our teams aren't at the level where they need a VA yet. Some of our teams would love to have a little bit of extra help to take some of that, you know, that admin level work off of your plate. Some of you guys maybe have a ton of leads and your agents don't do a very good job calling them and you'd like to employ uh, an inside sales agent in your business. We've got those as well. So Brivity VA, it's just kind of an option. It's an add-on, right? Tons of training and help, in fact. And this is really important. And I know we're at the top of the hour. I'm going to give you guys, like, if you're interested, um, here's some of the different – here's what I'd like you to do. Um, if you're interested, you just go to brevity.com, right? Click the Get a Demo button. But if you're, like, highly interested, okay, if you're somebody that's like, I, I've been thinking about this for a while, after watching some of what Bob's talking about here, I'm going to give you kind of the, 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 the side door entrance to – um, to our team. Okay. So that you could get out there right now, talk to somebody and get going. Cause here's the deal guys. We sell, we sell about a hundred Brevity platforms a month or something. And when we do a web, there, there was a many hundreds of people on this webinar. When we do a webinar like this, we tend to get kind of this rush, right? Where people go, yeah, I've been thinking about this for a while. If you're watching this, like I'm in. Um, but when you come in the door, we kind of, we build the sites out and put all the tools together and do all this stuff in order, right? So if you're somebody that's really interested right now and you're like, I, I want to get in the front of that line, right? I could go to demo.brivity.com and fill out my demo, but I want to get in the front of the line because I'm, I'm pretty close. Here's what I'd like you to do. I want you to pull your phone out and this is going to give you guys an idea on, thank you, Jason. I appreciate you saying that. Um, this is going to give you guys an idea of how quickly works, right? Which is me. I'm going to capture your cell phone number. Okay. I want you to text platform to five, nine, five, five, nine. So pull out your phone. You're going to send a message. Like, like who's the message going to? It's going to five, nine, five, five, nine. And then the body of that message is to send the word platform. 
And if you do that, that's going to go to, to Tim. He runs our, 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 our team of awesome folks back in the office. Well, they're all at home these days, but, um, and Tim will get somebody to reach out to you right away. Okay. And, and then look, I did a real high level demo. They can take you in and show you the pages, show you the CRM, answer questions like, how do I, how do I do market reports? Like, um, you know, Hey, does this work in my MLS or, or what is the pricing? And here's the deal. This starts at somewhere around 149, right? If you just wanted a website and a CRM, kind of a light CRM, it goes all the way up to a thousand bucks a month. If you have 25 agents on your team and you want the full boat package and you know, like at all these levels, by the way, you can get the Brevity marketer, we can do the automated postcards. You get the Brevity designer, which we have in beta right now where you can make all the cool, the cool stuff, right? So the last thing that I want to leave you guys with here and because I, I promised you I'd give you this is the, the listing presentation as, as done by Ben Kinney and um, the link you can, so, so I just gave you guys uh, two links. There's a Google doc link. And what that'll do is when you hit that Google doc link, it will ask you to copy the presentation. It's just, it's just a page you land on that says copy this, this folder, this file or whatever. And then, then it will copy to your own Google drive, right? Our editable listing presentation. Now, if you're not a Brevity client, you can still, still grab it, okay? There's some, there's some interesting kind of elements in there that maybe you work into your own listing presentation. If you're a Brevity client, the, it, it, it kind of highlights the different aspects of Brevity. It highlights quickly, right? So that during your listing presentation, you can talk about, you guys don't do fires anymore because people just walk up and grab those under the cover of night. You use a thing called Quickly that's a text to lead service that allows you to capture everybody's cell phone number that drives by and wants information about that property so you can follow up with them to, to get them inside the house to see if they want to buy it, right? And so there's all these elements of the platform that we work into our listing presentation so that we can stand out. And then the second link, the YouTube link, is the second link is, is Ben and, and me, and I play the role of the seller, but it's, it's us doing his listing presentation kind of in front of a live audience, but it's a, it's a recording of us, there's slides on there, and, and Ben walks through so you can hear his scripts. You can hear how he delivers them. You can hear how the stuff we gave you kind of ties into the way they actually deliver it to a client. There's also in that video just some amazing, um, just Ben Kinney. If you guys don't know Ben, like his style and his, his approach is, <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, I'm wowed by it. And so anytime I get a chance to kind of learn some of his scripts or see how simply he handles certain concepts. Um, Anna, that's a great question. So do you guys have something similar for buyers? We do. Um, we're just getting ready to let you guys get your hands on it. Cause what we do with this stuff, we don't just build this stuff and then give it to you guys like untested. So our teams have been using some buyer presentations that we've put together recently we've been making some tweaks based on some of the feedback they're coming back with. So it shouldn't be too long before we give you guys something like this, where you can work in, um, you know, some of the brevity elements into your buyer presentation. So, all right, I'm going to take a deep breath. That's a, that's an hour of going through a really robust platform. You guys that has almost every aspect you'd need to kind of run, you know, that, that lead generation and conversion and, and cultivation and, and past client side of your business and, 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 and your transactions and, and lots of other things, right? So that's a, that's a mouthful. There, there's a lot there. And, and you guys have been firing questions that will be going through here. I've been, I've been looking back at some of them, trying to answer them as we go. Is there, does anybody else have questions? And look, I'm willing to stay here. I don't know, what do I got on my calendar? Kevin, all right, Kevin's gonna have to wait. I'm willing to stay here for a little while, you guys, and, and answer questions. If you're a current Brevity client, and look, here's the deal. And I, last thing I'm gonna say, actually. Every day, at three days a week, on Tuesdays and Fridays at one o'clock, and then on, on Wednesdays at four o'clock, that's our happy hour, that's a little bit less kind of structured, but Tuesdays and Fridays at one o'clock, Ben Kinney and I are going through the Brevity platform at a very granular level. We're, we're spending a day lo looking at each tool or an hour, you know, during the day, looking at each tool, how you use it, the scripts around using it. Um, this is, 
if you guys have missed some of those, you can find them at mastery and I'll even type it in here. Mastery dot rivety.com mastery dot rivety.com. And here's the deal. Even if you're not a, a, a brevity client, you can go to mastery.brevity.com and you can check out one or two of those videos to see the kind of training that we're doing with people. Guys, this is, uh, well, I don't know, I'll give you Ben's story, right? The guy 12 years ago or 13 years ago started in real estate and, and you know, really quickly built up to somebody that was doing 500 deals a year, it, totally based on systems and models. And when we do these trainings, he's giving you the scripts that we're using. He's, he's, he's talking about the systems and the models that we're using around brevity, right? So, I mean, these are some of the, listen, Robert, if you go to mastery.brevity.com, at the top of that page is, is your ability to sign up for either the Tuesday calls, the Wednesday happy hours, or the Friday calls. And then at the bottom of that page, every time we do another one, we just add the recordings to the bottom of that page. So there's all the all the lunch and learns that we've been doing at one o'clock on Tuesdays and Fridays are on there, the recordings. And then you can get signed up for the upcoming ones and all the happy hour recordings are in there as well. So um, listen, if, if, if I was like, thinking about this, getting kind of this, this one-on-one -on -one training with Ben Kinney, we're, and we're going to keep doing this until we, we all come out of lockdown, right? Like getting this one-on-one -on -one training uh, three times a week where you're, you're able to interact with Ben guys, we have people that pay a lot of money to coach with Ben Kinney, like I'm, a lot of money, like more money than I'd ever pay, like it, the crazy amounts, right? So to get into that room and, and to be able to, to kind of feed off of, of some of what Ben's talking about in there, I, I might sign up for brevity just for that, that exposure to Ben. But all right, you guys, um, I'm a fanboy though. So maybe take everything I say with a grain of salt. But I guess when somebody sells 3000 homes in a year in, in his organization, like, yeah, Brianna, I agree. Totally worth it. Fangirl, here she says. So, all right. Thanks, you guys, for joining me. I appreciate you. Some of you Brevity folks, we'll see you guys at 1 o'clock as we continue to dive into the Brevity platform. Um, oh, no, that's tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Sorry. I got... Coronas, you guys. I don't know what day it is. Like, I need a haircut. Um, my name's Bob. On behalf of Samantha and Mikey, who put these things together and kind of make them happen. Appreciate you guys. Have an awesome, uh, awesome rest of your week. Great weekend. Wash your hands, everybody. My name's Bob. Bye-bye.